Hello everyone, I'm Joey Marberger. I'm the Vice President for Content Intelligence at ArcXP, and today we're gonna to talk about agents. So AI agents, and why everyone seems to be talking about them right now, uh, or agentic workflows, um, is because they're very exciting, and they're kind of this natural progression of where generative AI is now and where it will be. So right now, um, AI really responds to our commands. You know, we issue prompts, um, and it has certain outputs for us, does certain things. Um, maybe, you know, use ChatGPT like everybody else. Uh, but with agents, they can really understand uh, what we're trying to do and they can act autonomously and they can work together and they can develop a memory from that. And with a clear set of instructions um, or functions they can call, uh, different kind of tasks they can pass off to a different agent, you can accomplish much more complex uh, workflow tasks and many other things um, with agents and agentic workflow. So today for Arc Explains, we're gonna dive into the world of AI agents. What are agents? Agents are a program or a piece of software, but unlike a software program that follows a script or strict rules and just runs, agents can act autonomously based on a set of instructions, learn from its decisions with memory, and share tasks with other agents and act like a team. They're like hiring a worker or a team of workers to accomplish a given task. They use large language models and tools to produce, process, and understand information quickly and determine the best course of action. And with human input or the human in the loop agents, you can give them continuous feedback to help get the outcome you want. And depending on how many agents or assistants you have working together, complex tasks can be broken down and accomplished in parallel. Combining your work expertise with the automation of an agent, you can supercharge your workflow and accomplish tasks faster. And with multiple agents, you can combine a series of tasks together to handle things like managing your schedule by monitoring your calendar or researching a topic by crawling the internet. So how do agents work? There's a lot of layers of this, but let's try to kind of go through the, the, the basics here. So you have an agent or you can have an individual agent or you can have multiple agents or assistants and you have tools and you have memory. So all of these things essentially can work together um, and you define instructions um, for the agent or the individual assistants, multi-agents, and you have functions in your tools, and then you have context for memory. And then these things can all interact together. So you can tell an agent um, to speak to one of the tools, essentially, or it can know uh, what tools it can leverage and store everything in memory, um, usually using a vector database, um, or some sort of other memory solution that provides context, knowledge, and data. And those tools can leverage functions to speak to APIs. A memory speaks back to the agent. The assistants share that memory. The assistants learn new memory. And it all kind of works together in this um, big ecosystem very quickly. So as like an example, you could have like an editor agent, the main agent, a writer, copy editor, searcher, tools, and it can do different things like style check or copy edit, um, you know, but the main agent editor have, has very clear instructions on like what the final task is and what the outcome should be. And there are lots of agent frameworks out there uh, to get started with, such as Autogen uh, from Microsoft, uh, Crew AI, uh, which is really focused on multi-agent platform. Um, there's also Langchain, uh, which is very popular for many AI use cases, uh, but they also offer their own agent framework. Um, and as you can see, lots and lots of repositories on GitHub. Very popular topic. You can try things out, see the benefits um, uh, for each type of agent framework, or you can not use a framework at all. There's also other frameworks uh, such as Fidata with Python, um, but you can still just build your own agent um, uh, from scratch without using a framework. Every one of these has kind of some different benefits to them um, that you can learn. 
A lot of them are, are very flexible. Um, some are a little harder to understand. Some are easier to get up and running. Um, but you can kind of play around and see what works. Uh, certain frameworks have actual like agent builders um, in them that you can try out without knowing exactly how to code. And you know you can always just uh, ask ChatGPT what it thinks about agents. And that is a brief introduction to AI agents. Now, you may be thinking, this sounds maybe a little too good to be true, um, which maybe it is. There's still a lot of development here, um, a lot of learning, a lot of testing, but there are also risks to it. Um, and maybe even a little bit of fear of uh, agents taking your job. Well, agents still have to be built uh, by humans and uh, executed by humans. And even with that, they're not always perfect. Um, so you have to test, try them out. But if you are implementing agents or agentic workflows um, into your work, uh, you have to remember that they can act autonomously and do certain interactions. There are ways to kind of not do that. You can have a more just kind of perform very um, uh, set functions and tools, such as you know searching the internet um, or gathering data, or analyzing uh, documents, um, where the risk to its functions is kind of low. Um, but you have to test and try. And with any kind of agentic workflow, uh, you have to think about kind of the permissions the agent can have, um, the scope uh, of, of the controls uh, that it can uh, manipulate, um, and understand what you're trying to do. Like, are, is it a task that you commonly do? What are risks when you do it? You accidentally close a document without saving, things like that. So you have to almost think like a human for the agent to act like a human. Um, but today, it's very exciting uh, where the future of agents are going and the AI landscape as a whole. Um, and it's something that we're very excited about at ArcXP to see how it can help our customers in the future. Once again, I'm Joey Marburger, and thanks so much for watching.